iLock is usually thought about as something you might use with Pro Tools, but other programs utilize iLock as well, like Media Composer. Now, while Media Composer is not authorized directly with an iLock, it does use AAX plugins, which are authorized with an iLock. So in this video, we're going to use iLock Cloud with Avid Media Composer. The first thing we're going to do, let me pull up our iLock License Manager here, and the plugin we want to use is a plugin from Avid called Pro Compressor. Now we have a zero of three activations used, so we have three activations available. This is very important. You must have an available activation for whatever you want to use, and it must be iLock Cloud enabled. This is determined by the manufacturer. Now, of course, we could authorize directly to an iLock key or right to the computer if we wanted to, but let's use iLock Cloud here. Now, I already have an in-depth video for iLock Cloud. Be sure to watch that. It will show you the basics of using iLock Cloud. It will show you how to pull licenses off of an iLock and into your account and what happens if you become disconnected from the internet, how to reconnect, all of that stuff. So be sure to watch that video. But right here, we are ready to go. We have available activations for the plugin that we want. We don't have to do anything in here. Uh, whenever we activate an iLock Cloud session, it will just activate every available iLock Cloud license uh, for that session. So let's go ahead and come to our audio mixer here. We'll open an insert and we want Pro Compressor. So we'll go ahead and try to open this up. It's going to look for the authorization on our iLock. There is uh, no iLock plugged in, so we need to activate this. So let's go through our prompts. Just click activate. Now we're going to log into our iLock.com account. Okay, go ahead and hit next there. Then we'll have the option to open an iLock cloud session. Again, I'm not going to go in depth in this video. I'm just going to show you that it does indeed work with Media Composer as well. If you don't want to activate an iLock cloud session, click no, and then you will have the option of putting your license, your available license on an actual iLock key or on the computer. But since we want a cloud session, all we gotta do is hit okay. Very easy, very seamless to do here. There we go, open cloud session success. So your cloud session was successfully opened. Licenses activated to iLock Cloud are available only on the computer that opened the session. Now that does not mean if you have multiple activations, you can't have one on an iLock, one on a computer, and then one in the cloud. You absolutely can, and I show that in the in-depth video. And only if you remain connected to the internet. Yes, we have to remain connected to the internet. Again, watch the in-depth video. It will go through and show you exactly what happens if you become disconnected from the internet and also our cloud session remains open in our iLock license manager until we actually close it. Even if I close down Media Composer, that iLock cloud session is still gonna be open. It will even be open if we reboot our computer or shut down our computer, it will still be open. And if we try to log in from a different computer, then we can close that session uh, that way as well. So we'll go ahead and click next here. And there we go, look at that. Now we have our plugin here, authorized via iLock cloud ready to use here, our AAX plugin, ready to use here in Avid Media Composer. Looking here in the iLock License Manager, you can see exactly what is happening. So Cloud Activations 34, click that, you can see that it indeed pulled everything. It didn't just pull the, the Pro Compressor that we activated, it pulls everything. So whenever you start a cloud session, it will go ahead and try to pull every single available cloud license uh, into that cloud session, which is really great because it saves you from having to go back and forth if you you know, if you happen to be on a different computer and you forgot to bring your iLock, well, guess what? All you have to do is start an iLock cloud session and all of your available licenses will be right there for you. You, of course, still have to install the software. Okay, iLock is not going to install the actual software for you. It just authorizes the software. Some people get confused whenever they plug in an iLock and they wonder why their plugins aren't there. That's because you actually have to install the software, okay? So... We are activated here via the cloud. Now, if I wanna close this cloud session, I can right click and close the cloud session. I can also come up to file and close that cloud session. Okay, not gonna really go into that here. Watch that in-depth video if you wanna see more about that, but you can see exactly what uh, has happened here. Now we have this active cloud session back here to Media Composer and guess what? Our plugin works just fine. So I can start playing back here. If I want, we'll come back a little bit here. All right, and we'll just play back and mess with our compressor here. Okay. 
So it works just fine. Activated via iLog Cloud. All right. So there you go. Yes, indeed. iLock Cloud works with Pro Tools, but it also works here in Avid Media Composer and any other sort of software that is activated via an iLock and has that iLock Cloud image available. You can activate that via iLock Cloud, including in Avid Media Composer. And of course, we need to remain connected to the internet uh, for that authorization to, to continue going. And of course, we need to leave our cloud session open. Now, after I close down Media Composer, that leaves, I'll go ahead and leave this for now, that leaves that cloud session open. Okay, so we'll need to manually close that if you want those licenses released back to your account. So Media Composer is closed and we still have our cloud session open. So to really close this out, if you want to have all of these licenses released and available again in your account here, so if you look at Pro Compressor, now one of three activations is used. Remember before we had zero. So we'll come back to cloud, right click, close the cloud session. And there we go. All those licenses have been moved back to our account. Very good. Come back to my account just by clicking my name, scroll down a bit here and pro compressor zero of three activations used. So I still have all of my activations. All right. So that is using iLock cloud with Avid Media Composer.